Good morning, everybody. Um, we're going to start today's notes on the same slide that we ended last time's notes. Okay, so these are the conversions that you should have already done. Uh, and I'm going to work through number three just so that we can kind of get back into the swing of things and you can get another example before we move on to something that's a little bit more difficult today. Okay, so we're going to start with 13.4 centimeters. And we're going to put it into the top left of our track. All right, so that's step one of our process. To start step two, remember we're going to put the units down below that cancels. So centimeters cancels out centimeters. Next up is inches, because that's what we're trying to convert to. So inches is going to go on top. And then I look for my conversion factor. And that's, remember, from a couple of slides ago, in one inch, there is 2.54 centimeters. Okay. From there, your units cancel out. And then we solve by dividing 13.4 divided by 2.54. And that's going to be your final answer. Let me, what do we got? 13.4 divided by 2.54 is equal to 5.28 inches. All right, so there's a, another example of our unit conversions. On your homework, you should have done numbers 2 through 7. Number 1 was already done for you, but numbers 2 through 7 was your assignment. You're going to learn today how to do the rest of that assignment. Okay, so we're going to just watch this video. You'll have a chance to ask questions if you need to. Um, but then for the most part today, we're going to be working on that assignment, the unit conversions. Okay, so the second part of that, con or that conversion worksheet is about multi-step conversions. Okay, so all of these over here are one step. Okay, we can, we can do this conversion in one track. So that's a one-step conversion. Over here, we're going to have multi-step conversions. All right. So let's look at one. We're going from centimeters to kilometers. Okay. So we need to figure out how many kilometers are in 1,365 centimeters. We don't have a direct conversion to go from centimeters into kilometers. Uh, we could do it, but it'd be really tough to figure out those powers of 10 and keep it accurate and, and do it the right way. Okay, so we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to go from centimeters, and then I have a direct conversion from centimeters into meters. Okay, we did that um, over here. We did that, well, maybe not over here, but here. We did centimeters to meters. Okay. So then I can go from meters, and I have a direct conversion from meters into kilometers. All right, so I'm going to make this conversion a two-step conversion. And here is my first track. There is my second track. Okay, so we start the same way. We start with 1,365 centimeters in the top left of our track. Okay. Centimeters needs to go down below, so it cancels. Centimeters will cancel. And then I'm going to meters first. So meters is going to go up above. And I'm not quite at my ending point yet, so I'm going to make another track. I know that I've got another conversion factor to get rid of here. So I'm going to go meters down below. So meters cancels meters now. And now I've got a conversion for meters into kilometers. Okay, so it's always easy, easier in these multi-step conversions to start like this and to do our units first. Once we get our units in, it's much easier to keep track of the numbers because then we can take it one track at a time and we don't have to worry about all these powers of 10 and, and ones and zeros and numbers flying around all over the place. Okay, so I recommend always, always do your units first 
and then fill in the numbers. Okay. Let me get rid of those and make it a little bit less messy. So now we can fill in our numbers. There is 100 centimeters in one meter. And there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. Okay. So now we're going to take everything on the top and multiply it together. We're going to take everything on the bottom and multiply it together. And then we're going to divide the two. Okay, so mathematically, our final answer is 1365 divided by 100000. And that is going to give you your answer once you get that into the calculator. So we've got 1365 divided by 100,000. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.01365. Now I need to keep track of my units, right? Centimeters cancels out centimeters. Meters cancels out meters. And I'm left with kilometers. So 1,365 centimeters is equal to 0 0.01365 kilometers. Okay. I want you to do this one on your own. This 473 centimeters into kilometers. So this conversion pathway is going to be the exact same as the one we just did. I want you to do it. Pause the video. Work this out on your own. And then I will have my work up for you when you're finished. All right. Pause the video. Okay, so here we go. 473 centimeters. We're going to go centimeters into meters. We're going to go meters into kilometers. And then we fill in our numbers. One meter, 100 centimeters. One kilometer, 1,000 meters. So we have 473 divided by 100,000 again. And we should have 0 0.00473. Let me just double check my math in my calculator. 473 divided by 100,000. 0 0.00473. Now my units, centimeters cancels, meters cancels, kilometers is what remains. Okay, hopefully you get 2.00473. Now, I want you to do these last three. The conversion factors are all in your notes from last time. These are all multi-step conversions, okay? So these last three, you are going to have more than one step. Um, and don't do number five. So just do numbers three and four. Okay, um, do numbers three and four. I'll get the answers up right here. But I want you to make sure that your work gets you to those points. Okay, pause the video, get that done. Actually, this is where we're going to stop. So there you go. Less than 10 minutes of notes for you this morning. If you have questions, come and find me. All right. Don't be afraid to ask.